the Slark and the Rubik at the top with the Chen rotating around. Smoke. Well, there's no doppelganger up, so unless he's just going to go... Okay, so leaves an observer oh, one yeah, up, he, then right, Fen is still there. He just uses Phantom Dash. So Fen doesn't have the movement speed. Sunstrike, Fen goes straight into it with the Hadouken as well. Wings will get the first blood on the PL. Two Wild Wings and a Seder. Not the best. They're going to Sentry and Observer. They're going to put it up on the hill. Stampede's going to get him up. And now with the doppelganger, find the real FN. TP support's on the way in, but FN the kick! Hitting on three! FN's still gonna go down. The Rubik will pick up the Batrider, throwing Ghost Dick away from the fight, and they're trying to let Shadow do the work, but the lasso holds him in position. The Chen Creep will finish the job with the Hadouken. But everyone from Empire comes in to try and save that. Ends up being a two for two trade off. A sentry ward on top of Dyer's that. To summarize important. everything that we've been talking, actually, maybe we wait a second for that until we see what wings really want to achieve here. Because right now it looks very odd. Ice Ice decided to tick down to the flame break and he may be the sacrifice. The glimpse being used to take the Earth Spirit out of the fight. Lasso is down. They want to keep him in. And thanks to the wall from King R, they're forced to stay here, wings against their will. So the Chen and Centaur will die for the. The, the trade-off of the Bat Rider, but Chappie wants more. Straight behind Innocence, those Searing Arrows are not going to do enough work. Innocence has the one charges, turns around, then triggers the lasso, instantly cancelled by the Glimpse. So Chappie will find a kill, Shadow now chasing after those supports. Chan Creep doesn't survive long enough, and a very smart TP out by King Ah. have shown that they have good control of that area. Shadow though, with the... He wants to fight, but you've got King R right behind. He can just storm up and hold him there. Even with a flame break, Ghost Dick, he gets out of the wall, so Slark has to stay where he is. Ghost Dick very low on life. The Phantom Lancer was killed off. Very problematic when Empire don't have that damage to bring in until Klinks arrives. Looking for Shadow, he'll pounce himself away. The Glimpse will pull him away from the fight, but the Hofstom, perfect from Faith Beyond, finds Chappie out. They need that detection. Where is the Sentry Ward? Where is any kind of dust, any kind of reveal? Chappie, oh no, really? The Sunstrike! He found him running back! What a player, holy shit. Haste Rune was taken, but again, no vision from Team Empire around this area. Bounty Rune as well. Again, no vision to reveal it, but the smoke will break on Ice Ice. They understand the Chappie is here, but where's your reveal? Chappie just walks straight through him! He'll see absolutely everything. The hoof stomp's right in the mark. King R will die to the Sunstrike, but now rolling bottle forward with a silent slug. Just standing its ground, attacking through and getting that essence shift. It won't be so great for the Rubik, however, as FM was all over him. But this fight, splitting up into multiple parts, back in towards the mid tower, however, as the Clinks, the primary source of damage for Team Empire. He'll take a fall. That is... Not good for them, but this is their home. This is the Faith shrine. Faith is waiting for so it. Many good fights. He's he sees so much. Horstomp, John Ford, Sun strikes down, and he even leaves him to the mercy of the Sun Strike. Chappy running in. He'll have to trigger off the shrine. They need the extra life, but then tornado and meteorite and deafening blast. Barra just cannot be involved in the fight, but the storm is the big thing. Will it be enough to hold him here? Not really, actually. They bought back on the Earth Spirit, and Faith Beyond gets in for another double stomp. Shadow on the run out of here. Needs to keep the gem. A quick pounce forward. He's got three seconds until he's going to have his invis back up again and no mana for it. So the gem is down the deck, picked up by the centaur, but he doesn't have the life to survive. Innocence jumping forward, taking out the clinks from the fight, but then it's still not enough. He'll go down to three hits from the clinks as Chappy has himself a triple kill. Gems are on the deck. If he waited one more second, he potentially could have consumed it, but one more second and Roshan's already down. Damn. Even now Stampede, they found FN, the real one as well. They put the penitence on him, now BKB's trigger from both Shadow as well as FN. The run out needs to happen, Chappie realizes he's visible as the four spirits start attacking him, it was the sentry ward is down, but again, the shrine, if you don't want to fight on top of this, the effect will wear out as Chen dragged back and brought down, he was the focus of the Bloodthorn, so that's why there was no hand of God, turn on the magnetize as well, and they have to tank through it, Shadow glimpsed up, but actually brings him right on top of the disruptor, so Shadow can do some work, pouncing forward, finds FN too, and he's launching more. But Empire are bailing out. The TPR from Earth Spirit, that won't be possible. God, that glimpse. Leave some illusions behind. Empire just like they're about to get. Oh no, the jump up. He just walked straight through it. The wall didn't have the effect. Instead, it's going to be Centaur letting off the Stampede, getting into a fantastic position. Earth Spirit will be removed from this fight. Disruptor will join him. And Chappie tries to stand his ground. The Sun Strike's coming in. Chappie's already really maneuvered, but it doesn't matter. He's down 90 seconds practically without him. Top tower has fallen. Well, top lane. This is going to be the last Royal fight now for Team Empire if they can hold it. But again, Ghosting shut down. Innocence has always been at the right place at the right time. Even with the lasso, Earth Spirit will fall down. It's the Rubik who's using the lasso and GG. 
Team Empire now one game down and having that winner's bracket position. If Wings can 2-0 this, they're going through in this group in second position. Look at how that actually goes with the laning phase. And he's focusing on Chappie. They're trying to keep him down, and he's actually dropping very, very low. The sun's right, Chappie! Oh my god. They actually did it. They've killed him already. Can I size a little bit of danger over here, but there's a reserve ward. And oh, you. Already knew. <laughs> Just quickly munch it down. Now Stampede forward. ISI is perfect nightmare on Slant, but he breaks through with the Dark Pact. Brain Sap not enough, or will it? No, it won't be enough for ISI to survive in the RP. Wasted by Faith Beyond. Not really doing anything for them, and it's just Chappie running in deep. Cold Snap underneath the tower. He is too deep looking for the kill on Innocence. Wow, that was a really good blink strike by Chappie. Not what he wants, but not the best. Now, Stampede forward, they go in behind the tower. FN, they'll infeed up pretty quickly, and Disruptor does get the storm out, but Rubik, uh, Slark doesn't really care. FN's already on a triple kill, the Sunstrike won't connect on anything, and Shadow starts this run. Pounce is available, so Shadow, no, the Pounce actually missed! So Shadow can keep running back to the tier 2 tower, Tornado will create a little bit of space and allow him to get into that one little creep. They're still ticking out to Ignite. Found it out, now middle lane, where's that blink? Hofstomp is out, they need a little bit of saving here from the Bane. The Nightmare almost does it for the Invoker. King R, you need a glimpse. Okay, maybe you need to actually pop back out. Fiend's Crypt is down, but Fiend's Crypt stolen and potentially going to be returned by King R. He holds the life stealer in position. The RP as well has to be committed by Faith Beyond, but the damage is not enough. Goes to create space with a two-man hoofstomp. Sentry wards are down. FN has to go back up the hill, away from Shadow, away from that life stealer, even without the Impound buff up. He hits like a truck. Split pressure from this. Dyer's top tower. They're trying to get his BTs up. Like, once those BTs are there, like, the split push becomes a lot easier for Blink because he can just jump in and be part of the fights. Sending in the Purge Creep reveals the fact that Empire are near Roshan but not actually doing Roshan. Now the Sunstrike also flagged out. They have started it. So Empire want to give it a shot. Faith goes for the RP, catching the back line. Shadow pops out with the infest, but Faith just gets critted into oblivion. Bane will join him as well. The multicast, everything is going the way of Team Empire. A triple kill for FN. And this is when Empire can take Roshan that they've been waiting to do for so long. They don't know which one it is. It's the one which is obviously running away. Uh, uh, okay. Skewer up, FN. I really don't think you wanted a piece of that faith, even with your ability to go invis. Bane can't keep him alive. He started the Fiend Script, instantly got interrupted, and Fiend Script still stolen by King R. Wings, everything is falling apart. Chappie's also enfeebled up. They're coming for mid. There's no Magnus, there's no RP. Put the Desolator to work, bring down the melee racks, Blood lost him up. They need an Invoker, but his BOT is still down for 8 seconds. That stifling dagger removed 50% of the life of Innocence. Tower, throws, out, throws out a second one, that's only going to remove uh, like a quarter. Bottom tower has fallen. Still no Magnus up, Glimp's going to pull him back in, the storm is there, plus the tornado. They catch out two of the course, but ghosting in through the rear line. Remember that shrine will allow Wings to fight. Inside their own base, they need a little bit more control. Chappie, Phantom strikes out. Magnus was looking for his RP, he won't get it. They throw him back in again. The Ogre Magi will go down, but Gozix continues with the hoof stomps and double edges. He'll finally be brought down by the Sunstrike. Nice. He's got uh, a cloak just sitting there. Jump forward. Oh, Abyssal Blade is doing work. Live Seal still doesn't want to pop back out again. They saw him. The Gemma True side. Whoa! Okay, Innocence! Oh. And the extra bash as well, the life stealer will go down and wings. <laughs> oh, they just gave Empire the opportunity they were looking for to take Roshan. Know, that's uh, what they have to they're coming through. over. Uh, Ghost sticks, he sees all. Blink is revealed. They'll jump forward, the Hawk stop. It's keeping the Magnus out. The storm is down from Disruptor. Just trying to save him, but Chappie doesn't care. BKB is in, slices up the mammoth. And wings are losing too many, and they've probably just lost the game. Fiend's grip stolen once again by the Rubik. A buyback out from the Invoker, he's looking for a target. Like, yeah, the Ruby can give him Arcanes. The Ogre cannot. Like, you got one Arcanes, now Slark runs in. Alright, he's just gonna go ham. The stolen Fiend's good from King R. Tornado will cause a little bit of a problem as Faith Beyond has to use RP, but no, it got stolen by Rubik. Rubik, he wants to live on this one, jumps in close, and he actually locks down the Invoker. A quick dusting to give the reveal, but the Storm is down, but both the targets from Empire who are in it are protected by their BKBs. Shadow trying to man mode this up. FN needs some space, but he won't get it. The Glimpse pulls him back in, and with a pop out from Infest, the damage is there to kill off the Slark. 
Rubens, but it's still not enough. You're still three heroes down. King R survives through most of it, and with a jump in from, from Chappie, he'll find an Ultra Kel. Three buybacks from Wings. They know it's, it's this or nothing. They cannot lose their bottom racks. One of the worst possible outcomes for Magnus in this oh, game. Oh, oh, oh. Skewer! He tried to save the Disruptor. The Hoof Stomp's down as well. Shadow, he was able to actually rage up in time, but it won't protect you with all those bashes there. Ice Ice tries to protect himself as well. That won't happen. GG is the call. And Team Empire on the back of the draw with Wings will claim second position next to OG at the top of Group A. Congratulations to Empire.